The Spacking Hill Spartans come in with a record of 20 and 2 into this sectional championship game. Millbrook at 16 and 4, and two of those losses for Millbrook were to this Spacking Hill team. No team wants to play a team three times in one season. It's very difficult to do a three-peat on another team. But Spack and Kill will try and roll the table with Millbrook today. The Spartans feeling pretty confident and hoping to take the title back to Poughkeepsie. But Millbrook had other plans, especially with their star setter, Meredith Dignan, back in action. And right from the opening serve, you could see there was something different about Spack and Kill. Lindsay Ackert, at outside hitter, sends a typical power return. Digna digs, then returns, and the ball falls on the Bermuda Triangle. That was a foreshadowing of things to come. Digna on the serve, and once again, Spackenkill appears to have a lack of communication as the ball falls between Ackert and Kelly Devaney. Spackenkill was able to manage a few points, but mostly due to unforced errors by Millbrook and Millbrook's points seemed to show an uncharacteristic side of the Spackenkill defense. The Blazers were placing the ball perfectly, and while Spackenkill was hanging around, the Spartans just didn't appear to have that spark. Nur Scher powers home a point, but again, Spackenkill's points were due to Millbrook's unforced errors. Early in the first game, Spackenkill worked hard for a 9-8 lead, that was the last time they would lead on the scoreboard all day. Strong Millbrook net play by Kayla Gussica. Here's match point. And Millbrook makes the entire gym stand up and take notice. Game two, more of the same. The Blazers had an uncanny ability to find holes in the Spackle defense. And coach Sean Stoliker's plan was working to perfection. The net play continued to hold strong for Millbrook, and it looked as though someone substituted the normal Spack and Kill team with their evil twins. Millbrook took game two 25-14, and this one was like taking candy from a baby. Game three, it was all the same. Millbrook had a game plan, and Spack and Kill found it tough to answer. Here's game point. Audrey Almet slams home the exclamation point and the Millbrook Blazers are the 2013 Class C Section 9 Volleyball Champs with a three-set win over Spackenkill. Yeah! And you came out today and you played like I expected you to play all year long. You didn't give them a sniff of this match today. That was incredible, ladies. Great job. Well, just tell me, what was different this time between this and the other two times you guys played? Uh, first thing, having our setter back healthy, I think, was huge. First time we played them, we didn't have our setter. She was out. We had a freshman setter who did fantastic. We lost in five. Second time was our, our real setter's uh, first real match back, and we didn't have rhythm with her. You know, she wasn't 100%. She, we didn't have the rhythm. Today, we had definitely had the rhythm with her setting. Yeah, broke my leg. <laughs> Well, in the very first game of our season, we were playing against New Paltz, and I went up to block, and the other girl was in the net, and I landed on her foot, and I fractured my fibula. <laughs> yeah. And uh, did you think you were going to come back? Yeah, I, I, I knew I was coming back. Didn't know when, but I knew I was coming back. How many games were you out for? A lot. I missed the majority of the season. The first game I was back at was FDR. And you're healthy now? Yeah, pretty much. It's still healing a little bit, but... <laughs> Was there anything you saw the last two times you played Spack and Kill you thought you could exploit? Uh, yeah, we definitely did a lot of video research. We spent the entire work week actually where our second team was Spack and Kill. That was Spack and Kill's defense. We actually wanted to get them green jerseys to make it even more realistic. We didn't get that in time, but um, we definitely used video and practiced against Spack and Kill all week long. What we would do, we would mimic their defense with our own players and we would practice just going at them and going at them. That's basically. We just went at them day in and day out and practiced so hard. We were just so excited. We had nothing to lose. They had beaten us twice before. There was no pressure on us. Like Everyone thought Smack was going to come in and cream us, so we just decided to come out there and give it our all. What was the turning point of the game for you? Hmm, I think once we won the second set, I think that's when I knew. That's when I knew. 